Hello and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to do something slightly different, so I'm not going to solve some case from the Excel World Championship, but uh, rather I'm going to solve some challenges that uh, you can find on LinkedIn uh, and specifically uh, posted by the account uh, Excel BI, um, which basically publishes daily challenges during the weekdays and also Power Query challenges during the uh, weekends. Uh, it's been a long time since I didn't solve any of those challenges so I will start from the most recent one and going backwards so there will be a series of videos regarding these kind of challenges which are I mean not simple but of course not as complicated as a full case of the of the championship itself so let's start from this one uh, of which basically you can see the, the prompt so you're given a list of numbers uh, and you are asked to uh, list the numbers where all succeeding numbers are larger than the number so example 3769 uh, first is 3 succeeding numbers are 769 and are all greater than 3 uh, second is 7 succeeding numbers are 69 uh, and 6 is more than 7 and excluded uh, 36, succeeding number is 9, which is greater than 6, 40 is 9, there is no succeeding numbers and it's excluded. So answer is 3 and 6. So list all the numbers where all succeeding numbers are larger than the number. Okay, uh, I'm going to... No, I thought I was going to copy this, but I will do with the keyboard. In my local Excel, okay. Um, I think I will try to solve this the uh, the standard way without any specific fancy formula. Uh, so I'm going to give this a sequence of nine uh, because we have nine cases. Mm, I'm interested in starting from the first one. So X look up of this here here okay so that's the first sequence what I'm going to do first of all is to text split based on the comma as a column delimiter I'm going to get rid of the wire of the microphone uh, sorry not column delimiter but row delimiter okay I want this vertically um, actually I'm going to split on comma space otherwise I will have some weird buttons and also convert it to number uh, so basically we can say if and this uh, is less than everything which is below this uh, but I need to make this dynamic depending on the, num on the number of numbers I will have below the current one but we'll manage this later so high level we're talking about this uh, but 24 should be should be included as well yes uh, I don't know, this is not an elegant way to solve this, but the highest number of numbers I have will be the last one. Uh, so if I substitute the comma, I will have 11. Uh, so what I could do is something like this. And I could say filter of this where this is not empty. Okay, and this case is working except this. And so I will throw any error in and force it zero because it means that's the last number. Okay, and so I will do I will do a text join uh, using comma space as the limiter. Um, mm, 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 and I want 
to return this sorry the filter of this and this equals one okay uh, let's see if that scales so example two will be ten yes uh, then I think I have a problem here because it needs to be mm, okay so that's a simple problem <laughs> okay uh, 4 18 5 I have nothing so if error having an empty string six it's okay seven is empty eight uh, eight is okay now it this is the uh, the target okay solution I was confused by the, the length of the of the input okay uh, so it works a uh, little bit mechanic but still uh, still good I was thinking of a potentially an array formula to solve this because I want to uh, to be trained on both the, the the usual approach and also the the array formula um, hmm because basically I will need to iterate over the numbers and a good way to do that is the usage of scan and reduce but I honestly I'm not so familiar and confident in using those kind of formulas another way would be to do a by row uh, once I've separated the, the numbers uh, same way I did here and then going by row the problem is I need to check everything which is below me. Mm. No, I don't feel so confident to do this with by row as well. Um, because I will need to consider just what is below me but I'm not sure I can pass that argument in a by row because it will consider only the, the current row uh, well if the numbers are not I will, I will skip the, the array formula approach because I can't find a, a good solution in a short period of time so that was the first one having said that let's go back to the uh, question bank so the second case asks to um, to split the numbers into two parts where sum of first part is greater than sum of second part where it happens for the first time as so not all combination need to be listed what we need to list is when it happens for the first time when we start from left uh, okay uh, let's copy this Okay, so it means that 1 plus 2 plus 3, which sums to 6, is because the request greater than 4 plus 1, 5 minus 5 is 0. Because otherwise I would have 1 is not greater than 2 plus 3 plus 4 minus 5 plus 1. 1 plus 2, which is 3, is not greater than 3 plus 4 minus 5 plus 1. Uh, because it's 3 equals 3 okay so it happens for the first time there okay understood understood uh, let's be the sequence of 9 again uh, so x look up x look up this into orange returning sequence I uh, will do the same thing, so text split of this comma space. Okay, and I will convert to number as well. Okay, 
Mm, 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 mm. I think it's something like the previous one. So it will be maybe it will be useful to have a cumulative sound going on. And then I can say if this is greater than the sum of everything which is below I need to filter again this including this not empty it's one otherwise it's zero so I have a one here which is correct I will throw an if error which is zero let's see if this works for data set 9 which is the longest one okay and then basically uh, I need to match one here because that's the first occurrence which is 3 and then I can do a take of let's say let x is this thing y is filter x where x is not empty um, Mm, 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 mm. and then I want to take y probably say y sorry that's, <laughs> that's y in Italian um, then y uh, I want to take three rows uh, and, I will, and I will call this z let's call it a to take this and then b I want to take Y, but this time I want to have, I need the length in some way, so we'll take minus one, but it's just a placeholder, and then I will return uh, H stack of, um, mm, 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 H stack of text join of comma space uh, a and text join of comma space b okay I have a placeholder there uh, I need the LAN of this minus the land of substitute of this comma nothing okay so I know I have five plus one terms I have six terms and so here I'm interested in taking um, in taking this minus this with a minus before because I want to take the last terms okay so that looks good let's say okay three I'm probably going to have problems uh, I don't understand why it's not working let's see four four works six uh, apparently works sorry six, that was five six is good seven is good eight is good and oh my god nine is good I have just a problem with three because 8 is greater than well that's true minus 3 3 minus 1 and 1 minus 9 so that's correct in my opinion that's not a good opinion 
what we need to list is when it happens for the first time when we start from left so first part is written than some mm, I don't know uh, I mean it seems right to me because the sum of these is minus 9 8 is greater than minus 9 so uh, looks right uh, anyway the, the logic I think is is robust so I'm happy with this and same thing here I don't think I'm confident for an array formula maybe I will go into the comment session on LinkedIn and see what the other people posted as results there are some crazy formulas there that honestly uh, I don't find worthwhile for my kind of training to spend that much time into building such as a, such a formula but anyway uh, very good training if you want to get uh, fluent with uh, with array formulas okay uh, last one for today uh, will be this one uh, which is kind of different so let's copy this here uh, this input says encrypt the given words using keyword cipher Keyword cipher, write down A through Z in a row and write down the given keyword without any duplicate letter below that in second row. Remaining space in second row will be occupied by your newsletters from A through Z. This mapping will be used to encrypt the plain text. Example plain text, enemy coming, keyword canon. Uh, canon? Mm. <laughs> I'm not understanding the logic itself. Write down A through Z in a row and write down the given keyword without any duplicate letter below that in second row. Remaining space in second row will be occupied by Unus letters from A through Z. Uh, this keyword, this mapping will be used to encrypt the plain text. Okay, so I have D, A to Z, then I have K, C, A, N, O, which is, uh, which is canon without the duplicate letters. Then, okay, I need to take all the other letters without duplicates. So it's like saying that I shifted the orders uh, understood. I think I understood. Let's give it a try. So a usual thing, maybe let's expand this a little bit. So sequence of nine. So it will be an next lookup of this. Uh, okay so it will be A through Z so it will be a sequence of 26 rows starting from code of A uh, and I want the corresponding letter for this I bumped the insert in my keyboard uh, I don't know what is going on here, but it should be like this. It's okay. Um, I want just the the keyword. Okay, so I want a mid of this with sequence land of this one so this is a way to split the um, the letters I want the unique of this okay uh, then at this point I will have this here And also, I will need to start again from the letters that are not found. So, what if I do a sum ifs? 
Uh, sorry, count ifs. Of this. Of this. So I have the hey, I have the H, I have the P, and I have the Y. And so this will be a VStack of this and filter of this where this equals zero. Yes. And so that's the mapping now to use for the um, for the sentence. Yes, uh, we'll try to do in one cell, but I'm not confident. So it will be a concat of X lookup of mid this len of this one. My lookup array will be this. My return array will be this. If not found, I'm assuming this will be a space. Uh, no, <laughs> clearly no. Uh, clearly not working. So let's do this the old way. Uh, at some point, I will need to fix those kind of uh, blind spots I have with the array formulas. Okay, uh, so x lookup of this here lock here lock. If I don't find, I will keep it. And so seems quite right because now it's just a concat of. I will keep it. If this is empty, I will say empty. Otherwise, my X lookup. Not sure this will keep with all the uh, potentially long sentences, but let's try. So this seems right. This is right as well. Uh, this is right as well. This is right as well. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So seems quite right. Yeah. Okay. Um, would have been nice to do this with an array formula, but I don't know why the concat is not helping me maybe by doing it by row of something like this it will be yeah because no i don't know i don't know uh, probably it's not needed but let's try again so i said this would be a concat uh, but does it work with uh sorry does it work with this okay so it works uh, so it will be a concat. Let's say it's a let. Uh, 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 uh. So string will be this. I will leverage some space here. Uh, string split will be uh, mid of string uh, sequence of len of string one okay then I will do a biro string split lambda row x lookup oof row into my little alphabet here so this 
this not fun I will keep raw and then I will look and then just a concat of look yes okay so it was needed a by row to do this maybe it's also more robust than dragging here without uh, a definite range so uh, that's it for today uh, I hope you like the video let me know in the comments if that kind of format will be of interest for you um, anyway I think all considered it is a nice way to train without having too much repetition on the on the cases and keeps you you know up to date on various approaches different problems so it's a very nice way to to build some volume uh, for your training so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye